in this video, we are going to discuss a challenge trigonometric equation where the minimum value has to be found and also when does it repeat. That is, we have to find the period of the function also. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are discussing a challenge problem based on trigonometry. The question here is, f of x is equal to 4 times sine 3 by 2x plus 3 cos 9 by 5x. Find the minimum of the function f of x. Write the general expression when the minimum of f of x occurs. So I hope the question is very clear to you. First, we have to find the minimum value which this function can have and since it is a periodic function that value will repeat and therefore we have to provide a general solution when will it occur perfect so with that i think you can pause the video try it out let us understand how do we solve such questions well to solve such questions we need to understand both sine and cosine functions once so, the sine function, basically, if you sketch a graph, how will it look like? Well, sine starts with 0, and that is how it looks like, right? So, this is sine theta, let us say. And sine theta is minimum and has a minimum value of minus 1 when the angle is 3 pi by 2. Now, let us look into the cosine graph, when is cos minimum? Well, as far as cos theta is concerned, it starts with the maximum, goes to minimum and then maximum. And as you know very clearly, cos theta is minus 1 at pi. So, minus 1 is the minimum value for sine and cosine functions, correct? for any angle theta, right? So, in this expression, the minimum can be for 4 sine 3 pi 3x by 2, just 4 times minus 1, right? And similarly, for this expression, the minimum can be 3 times minus 1, right? So, so minimum possible value could be what? So, let us write minimum possible. will be 4 times minus 1, right, plus 3 times cos minimum is minus 1, so which gives us minus 4 minus 3, which is minus 7. So, if both happens together at the same time, then you get this minimum value, you get the idea. Since their periods are different, you see the periods are different, sometimes they will match the minimum value and at that time this is minus 7 is going to be the minimum value so the final minimum value could be minus 7 right now it is a good idea to figure out when will it occur and how can it occur well if you look into sin theta when do you get the minimum so, we get the minimum at odd multiples of pi by 2, right? How about this? Pi, 2 pi is 1. Do you see that? That is 2 pi, right? But then 3 pi is again minus 1. You see that? So, this is odd multiples of pi. So, definitely, when we have such value of x, so that you get odd multiple of pi, then you can get both minimum values together. You get the idea. So, what are we looking for? We are looking for odd multiples of of pi by 2 
for sin theta and pi for cos theta. Is that correct? So, that is the hint for you to solve this particular question. Perfect. That means, 3 by 2 x should be odd multiple of pi by 2. Similarly, 9 by 5 x should be odd multiple of pi. You get the idea. So, let us move forward. So, what we have come to decision is that 3 by 2 x should be odd multiple of pi by 2 should be equal to pi by 2 times 2n plus 1, right? Similarly, 9 by 5 x should be odd multiple of, let us say m, 2m plus 1, odd multiple of pi, where n and m are integers. How do you get these odd multiples? Well, 9 by 5x, if I put x as 5, in that case, I get odd multiple, right? 9 pi, right? So, think like this. If x equals to 5 pi, right? So, that means this 2m plus 1 is 5. 5 pi. In that case, we get 9 by 5 times 5 pi and that will give us 9 pi. You see that? So, we get odd multiple, right? So, now, if x is 5 pi, correct? So, x will be same, correct? x will be same. So, if I put x as 5 pi here, what do I get? Well, I get 3 by 2 times 5 pi, right? And that indeed is 15 pi by 2. Now, 15 pi by 2 is odd multiple of pi by 2, right? 15 is odd number. So, it satisfies the condition. You get the idea. So, you can check the value of this function when x is equal to 5 pi. Perfect. So, if x equals to 5 pi, in that case, what is f of x? Let us say f of 5 pi is what? 4 times sine of 3 by 2 times 5 pi plus 3 times cos of 9 by 5 times 5 pi, correct? And here, you get odd multiple of pi by 2. So, it is 4 times minus 1. And here, 5 and 5 cancel. So, you get 9 pi. So, cos of 9 pi is negative 1. And clearly, that gives you 3 times minus 1. And you get your value minus 4 minus 3 as minus 7. So, we have got one solution. And clearly, the solution is that minimum is minus 7 at x equals to 5 pi. So, we have done the first part. You see how logically we have derived at this. Perfect. Now, the thing is, since it is a periodic function, when will it repeat? That is what we will see in the next part. Well, I hope you understand and appreciate this strategy. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students are right there on top of the class getting awards and scholarships like Akshat. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. Great. Our student Akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. 
you can be there. Join our classes and excel. Okay. So now we know that 5 pi is definitely giving us the same answer. A minimum value of minus 7 is realized at this particular point. So we get solution of question number 1. Now let us look into the general expression. To find general expression, we will see when will these two waves match each other. So, for that, let's analyze the periods. So, so what is the period for sine of 3 by 2 pi, 3 by 2 x? Well, the period is 2 pi divided by 3 by 2, right? So, that gives you 4 pi by 3. So, 4 pi by 3 is the period for sin x, right? Sin 3 by 2 x. What is the period for cos of 9 by 5 x? Well, so the period for this is 2 pi by the k value 9 by 5, right? So, that gives you 10 pi by 9. Right? So, 10 pi by 9 is the period for cos. Now, the matching of the two for the same value of x will only happen in some multiple cycles, right? So, let us say we have nth cycle here and mth cycle here, correct? So, that they have exactly same value of x, right? So, that means the value of 4 pi by 3 n should be equal to 10 pi by 9 times m, right? Only then the x value will be same, right? They will give you same x value, correct? So, let's solve this. So, when you simplify, let's cross multiply. So, you get 9 times 4, 36 pi m equals to 30 pi m, pi pi cancel. right and this was 36 I wrote 3 so we can divide by 6 dividing by 6 we get 6 n equals to 5 n right when the equation is 6 n equals to 5 n one of the solution will be n equals to 5 and m equals to 6, right? In that case, both left side and right side are equal, correct? So, n equals to 5 and m equals to 6 will give us the same value of x. Now, what is that value? That is the same period, right? That gives us the period. So, if I substitute here 4 pi by 3 n as 5, what do I get? Let's write down. 4 pi by 3 times n as 5 gives us 20 pi by 3. So, 20 pi by 3 is the period when they overlap, right? So, 20 pi by 3 is the period of this wave f of x. You get the idea, right? So, basically, we figured out earlier that it does happen at 5 pi and this value of 5 pi repeats after every 20 pi by 3. And therefore, how can you summarize the answer? So, we figure out that minus 7 occurs at x equals to 5 pi and repeats 5 pi, I wrote 50, at x equals to 5 pi and repeats after every 20 pi by 3, right? 20 pi by 3. Correct. 
So, what is the solution? So, the minimum value in this case will be minus 7 and this will occur at 5 pi plus multiples of 20 pi by 3 n. You get the idea because that is the period, right? Where n belongs to integers. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we are going to solve this particular question. Perfect. Is it all clear to you? Now, I also graph this function just to show you how it really looks like. So, this is the function f of x and you will notice that the maximum value, minimum value occurs here, right? And this is at 5 pi, right? So, that is the minimum value of minus 7, which occurs at 5 pi. Since it is a periodic function, it will repeat as discussed. Do you see that? So, that is how we can represent it on the graph. Perfect. So, I hope the solution is easily understandable, a bit tough though. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.